Hi, Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Today talking about what happens when the appraisal comes in low. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thanks so much for watching. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about what happens when the appraisal comes in low. In a rapidly appreciating market like we're in right now, it's very common that an appraisal may come in low when we're negotiating an offer. Now, from the seller's perspective, ultimately a property is worth what a buyer is willing to pay for it. When we're negotiating an offer price, the buyer will offer something sometimes that is higher than what the recent sales have closed for. Now, the appraisers can really only use a closed sale for their valuations. So when that market is increasing, it can be hard for them to support that price. So ultimately what happens? Well, a buyer can make up the difference in cash or the seller could agree to lower the price depending upon the situation. In today's market where there's many offers, frequently that buyer has been waiving appraisal contingencies or offering to pay five, 10, 15, or even $20,000 above appraised value if it were to come in low. So this can really make up that difference and help support the value moving forward. Now, as a buyer in this kind of competitive environment, you'll frequently have to be in a position where you can do that. The good news is that many times, let's just say you're putting 20% down. You could now change your loan to a 15% down or a 10% down loan, basically come in with the same amount of cash and only change your payment very little. So obviously if this happens to you, we can work out this situation and see if this is a decision that is right for you and how that can be, how that can work out. Remember, ultimately a property is always worth what a buyer is willing to buy it for and what a seller is willing to sell it for. The appraiser is coming there just to check the value of the home and make sure that if the bank had to go back and foreclose on you the next day, ultimately that they could get their money back that they're lending you. Obviously that's not gonna be a concern or you wouldn't be buying the house. So if you have questions about this or how we can help you through this kind of a situation yourself, feel free to give us a call. Our number is 562-316-2915 or you can email us at melinda at Thanks so much for watching and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends.